We begin in San Jose, where the investigation continues after that deadly crash at a restaurant last night. A truck slammed into a group of people eating outside. Now, police say they arrested this man, 32 year old Alex Moreno. He's facing gross vehicular manslaughter and felony DUI charges. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen talked to the owner who has gone through all of the surveillance video. And, Tom, what have you learned? Well, Terry, I can tell you that uh, he would only share that surveillance uh, video with the police, not with us, uh, and he did not want to go on camera. But he did walk us around the scene here and tell us what happened. He told us that Alex Marino was in the restaurant and bar for about an hour, was with a woman. They left at about 8.30, came out into the parking lot here, got into Marino's pickup truck. They were in the truck for about a half an hour when he said all of a sudden that truck shifted into reverse and went rolling backwards right toward the outdoor dining area. Witnesses described a harrowing scene where friends were looking out for friends. Mi amigo lo que hizo fue jalarme. This woman says multiple friends pulled her out of the way of a pickup truck as it barreled in reverse towards them and a packed outside dining area. It happened at San Jose's Agave Sports Bar and Grill Friday night at about 9. Everyone closest to the parking lot got out of the way. But San Jose PD says 32 year old Alex Marino's pickup rolled right into three people who were seated at a table next to an exterior wall. All three were hospitalized two men and one woman. The woman later died at the hospital, and the men are expected to be okay. The owner told us witnesses held Marino on the ground until San Jose PD arrived. He's now charged with gross vehicular manslaughter and felony DUI. Crews repaired the patio gates by late this morning, and by this afternoon, workers were back getting ready to reopen. Not surprised at all. This neighbor's upset about the deadly crash, but she's not shocked there was police activity at the bar. She said she's moving out because it's loud and police are here a lot. I can't live here anymore. Not paying the high rent that we pay to live next to this nonsense. The owner uh, describes a different story with the amount of crime here, although we have covered crime here ourselves. Uh, we also did check with alcoholic beverage control, and we did find that the liquor license here is clean, has been for the entire uh, six years, life, uh, the, the life of the, the license, the current license here, with no disciplinary action. We're live in San Jose. Tom Jensen, NBC Barrier News. Tom, thank you very much. We're also learning more details tonight about the sports bar where that crash happened. Tom was alluding to this. There was a shooting at the Agave Sports Bar back on February 20th. This is video from that night. Two people shot, not seriously injured. Now, we have been tracking this story since it first broke last night. We brought it to you at the top of our 11 p.m. newscasts. When we're not on the air, our Twitter page is a great way to stay informed on breaking news. Our handle is at NBC Bay Area.